and welcome back to the show where today we are interviewing members of Studio Cosplay. This is, uh, why don't you have you guys introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Daria. <clears throat> I'm creative director for Studio Cosplay. I also go by Dasha Cosplay uh, for my cosplay name. Yeah, and I'm Stephanie. I'm the um, Kickstarter project manager and the secretary for the board. Um, mm. And my cosplay name is Fairies Wear Boots. That is an awesome name, I just want to say. Yeah. Sometimes they do. <laughs> Indeed. Um, uh, so th uh, this is uh, Brent and Evan. And uh, so we want to uh, talk to you a bit about Studio Cosplay. You guys funded recently, which is really mm -hmm. awesome. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. They were funded. Funded on, yes. on Kickstarter. Kickstarter. Yep, exactly. 131% yeah. funded. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Not just support, nice. but beyond support. We yeah. were There's enthusiasm. Blown away. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. we made it quite a few stretch goals. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So um, if you guys could uh, describe a little bit about the Kickstarter you guys launched and kind of what was the, uh, the impetus behind it. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, as cosplayers, we can really appreciate the need for space to work in mm. for making particular elaborate projects. Uh, and there really just wasn't quite what we needed here in the DC area. Mm. So we thought we need to make this so. So, uh, <laughs> so we budgeted out the first year's expenses for the makerspace mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that we want to establish here in the DC area, within the Beltway, Metro Accessible, et cetera, mm -hmm. um, and what equipment would cost, you know, administrative costs, operational costs. And we set out to see if the community would support this. And the response has just been overwhelming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's awesome. And I do want to point out that we are not the only makerspace in this area. Mm -hmm. There are lots of makerspaces, and there are wonderful, wonderful makerspaces, but they just don't have what we need uh, right. as a cosplay community. We don't just need, you know, the 3D printers and, you know, mm -hmm. the electronics. We also need sewing machines and wig stations <laughs> and, you know, a photography studio, which is something that we wanted to bring to the area. Sure. But we also have been working very closely with some of the makerspaces to get their ideas of how their business model works mm -hmm. so that we have a lot of their support and a lot of, you know, the aha gotchas <laughs> yeah, ahead absolutely. of time. So and we're not starting from a scratch. Sure. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. And as far as we could find in research, we are the first ever cosmaker space. Just that's awesome. The, uh, a workshop just for costuming and cosplay. Yeah, yes. that's cool. Now you mentioned maker spaces. One of the questions we've, we've had is that question of uh, how you guys are kind of structuring um, your maker space in terms mm -hmm. of membership and things along those lines. So kind of w uh, average person says, hey, that's awesome. How can I be part of it? <laughs> Go to our website. Yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> have www.studiocosplay.org. Mm -hmm. Yes. Gotcha. That's the important part. Dot org. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that part. Okay. <laughs> we are a nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are five hundred one c three. So any donations that people want to give hey. us are all tax deductible. Mm. Uh, but in terms of the memberships, uh, we have kind of like a, a tiered structure, not in the sense of what you can use in the space, but in the sense of we give you a bigger discount the longer you want to use the space. Gotcha. So we offer <laughs> day passes and then like a monthly pass and then like six mm. months and like a year. Mm -hmm. And the more farther out you purchase, the um, the cheaper overall cost it will be. Gotcha. <clears throat> and what does that pass get you? Uh, and that pass gets you access to all the equipment in the area. Mm -hmm. So we are planning, uh, once we open, to have a fabrication station. Mm -hmm. This is where you can work with your thermoplastics, your EVA mm -hmm. foams. Wow. Um, you have access to like heat guns and like, um, <clears throat> what else? Like <laughs> heat tools, uh, mm -hmm. heat knives, all these things. Cool. Uh, we'll have sewing stations, obviously. Mm -hmm. We will have uh, wig stations where you can put a wig on a wig stand and be able cool. to style it. We will have a painting station with proper ventilation, <laughs> which is super, super important for yeah. all of us. Uh, one of our stretch goals was an airbrush, which we succeeded Yay. in getting. Uh, we also succeeded in uh, getting in, uh, what is it? a second 3D printer, yes. nice. which is fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so we will have all of that area cool. set up with all the fun stuff. Uh, we're also gonna have a photography station and I'll have a couple of backdrops. We'll have some basic lighting, mm. maybe a couple extra nice things here and there. Cool. As someone new to cosplay, mm -hmm. 
Uh, are there instructors there to guide us in how to use these tools or how to go about entering into cosplay? Absolutely. Because not everybody knows how to use all of this mm -hmm. equipment. Yeah. Not everybody has used Warbla or, you know, <laughs> used a 3D printer. Mm -hmm. So anything that we can't teach, we're bringing in skilled instructors to teach classes. And, of course, the curriculum is driven by the community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if people say, I want a class on making masks, I want a class on, like, you know, um, LED uh, components ooh, to a costume, yeah. Yeah. that's happening. Mm. Anything anybody wants. I mean, mm -hmm. of course... Um, you know, the, the benefit of working in a community workshop is the collaborative component. Uh, so yeah. so uh, if you're working on a project and you're stuck on something, you know, what do we do right now? We go on YouTube or some mm -hmm. cosplayer's mm -hmm. website. Mm -hmm. And while that's often very helpful, it's not hands-on and you can't ask questions. It's not as interactive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what if the person working next to you has run into that problem a hundred times <laughs> and they can be like, oh, honey, don't worry about it. Let me help you. <laughs> yeah. And we do want to point out that yeah. our classes are available to everyone. You don't have to be a member to nice. take the class, mm -hmm. um, but our members will get discounts on the classes. Gotcha. So to be in our space and to have access to our space and all the equipment, mm -hmm. which we're hoping to eventually have it be open 24-7. Wow. So any time that you want to work on a project, mm -hmm. it's not dependent upon us. Mm -hmm. It's going to be community run. Gotcha. But if you're taking a class, you don't have to be a member. You can still take all of the classes and get into any of the cosplay and non-cosplay related stuff. Cool. We will have events up on meetup.com, for example. Mm -hmm. Sweet, sweet. That's um, something I don't think we talked about before was the uh, question of safety where mm -hmm. you know random 13 year old walks up and says hi I want to use a heat gun um, you know <laughs> how is it how is that gonna be handled do you have some ideas on that safety yes. orientation is yes. is mandatory before you can even be on your own in the gotcha. workshop okay. we'll have those scheduled regularly anytime yep. somebody's new membership starts up we we'll make mm -hmm. sure that they get the, the full orientation um, you know a membership agreement is pretty standard for for these kind sure. of places but uh and of course, anybody who's um, you know minor, we want to make sure they're supervised by <laughs> their their adult. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. And for the adults that need supervision, we're we're hoping mm -hmm. the community will <laughs> that a little. Well, well yeah. we're hoping they'll pair them up with a minor that can supervise. <laughs> exactly. Them. Yeah. yeah. But sense. it's it's really important because while yeah. you know, um, uh, I think we have all burned our mm -hmm. fingers working on a lot of thermoplastic <laughs> projects. Um, we really don't want anybody to get hurt. We want this to be fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sure. And yeah. we do want to be kid friendly, at least to oh, some yeah. degree. Mm -hmm. We are looking at um, having some sort of kids programs. We are partnering with Big Brother, Big Sister of the nice. greater Washington DC area. And we're doing a, a special cosplay program with them where um, we've actually raised a lot of money from our Kickstarter to be able to fund the memberships for the youth and then we, uh, Studio Cosplay, are contributing and giving a free membership to the Big Brother or the Big Sister and also the money for putting together the costumes. Nice. So that would be really, really nice. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, now, um, you mentioned uh, photography. Um, uh, this strikes me as one of the, the most amazing things about this is that idea that you know, as a cosplayer, you can get in, go in and actually get photographed in a, you mm -hmm. know, standard mm -hmm. location. What are some of your plans for that? Well, we'll definitely have the dedicated space for it in the workshop. Cool. And uh, photography memberships mm -hmm. um, and sign up space so that, you know, if you want to reserve that for a mm -hmm. period of time for a photo shoot, you can do that. Cool. Mm -hmm. We're also planning on doing meetups where, you know, photographers can meet up with the cosplayers and you can have like a little social get together and be like oh hey i want to photograph some people oh hey i want to have photographs done let's meet <laughs> and make this work out it'll be really really nice and collaborative again we're going back to that whole collaborative environment mm -hmm. that's like one of the big reasons that we want to have this as a maker space it's mm -hmm. not just you know us working in a nice big space we want to have all of the community welcome and come in and work together sure one of the things you mentioned actually was um, some of the equipment. What are some of the the cool pieces of equipment that um, are going to be there that folks will really want to be able to get their hands on? Someday we'll have that vacuum <laughs> core machine. Oh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no kidding. For now, mm -hmm. uh, as we mentioned, as a couple of stretch goals, we got two three D printers. Sweet. Um, we embroidery got a, an machine. embroidery machine, cool. uh, airbrush kit. Um, let's see, uh, somebody's donating a serger. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, some of the standard like sewing machines, um, mm -hmm. like a projector for a classroom setting, mm -hmm. um, cutting tables. 
what else? Uh, I know we have a, a bunch of equipment coming in for the photography space, uh, like actual photography equipment uh, nice. that's being donated. Green um, screen. Yep. Cool. Yep. Yep. Can't make it out to the middle of the forest to do your photo shoot. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bring the forest here. There we are. Nice. Yes. Yes. Um, we just got a whole bunch of uh, dress forms, ah, so cool. to be able nice. to put stuff on a dress forms, that'll be very nice too. Cool. Sweet. Sweet. So with these different elements, uh, and being able to accommodate cosplayers from the beginning to expert cosplayers. Uh, have 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 you uh, found a centralized location for them to 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 meet? Have you already gotten uh, a real estate location, or is that something that you're still interested in um, pinning down uh, resources for? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now that we have the funding, now we know how much space we can afford. Now we're going to go get this space. So gotcha. we were actively looking um, Beltway area. Um, some of the things we talked about in the past about what mm -hmm. we're looking for. Mm ventilation, easily accessible by a metro and public transportation, mm -hmm. safe area. And by that mean walking distance from the metro, not like, nice. oh, hey, we're <laughs> like five minutes driving distance from the metro. No, not acceptable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gotcha. especially if you're schlepping oh, materials. armor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all those big pieces. Um, yeah. We're hoping to have a space big enough to have storage uh, cool. or to be able to expand out to incorporate storage later. Mm -hmm. um, Hmm. Parking. Parking is a big one. Yeah, sure. We'd like to be handicap accessible. Mm -hmm. Some of the spaces we've been looking at really are not very accessible at all. Wow. Yeah, that's surprising. Important. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we we really are working aggressively to make mm -hmm. sure that we have a lease signed sometime in the next few weeks. Sweet. Yeah. So that's coming up very soon then. Mm -hmm. We are yeah. opening this summer. <laughs> <laughs> Come hell or high water, we are opening this summer. Yeah. What was your website again? www.studiocosplay.org. Cool. Now, um, uh, you mentioned Makerspaces. Um, what are some of the lessons you've learned from Makerspaces, and maybe what are some of the things that you're kind of deviating from them because of the specifics of cosplay? Well, certainly our equipment isn't quite as <laughs> huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and not as many electronics. Not as uh, many electronics, true. true. Um, tools are tend to be a little smaller, but but mostly, um, something that I've learned uh, through some of the feedback we've heard from other makerspaces so far is is really trust the community. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants this space to be awesome. <laughs> they want yeah. it to be safe. They want it. Uh, they don't want anything to walk out the door. They yeah. they want everybody to have a great time. They want to mm -hmm. meet other cool people who are like minded who want to work on other projects. They are as enthusiastic about making this work as we are. So yeah. we don't have to get too intense about like you know every every written rule and whatever <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 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 so you know we we have a lot of things built into our plans mm -hmm. to uh make this as convenient and safe as possible mm -hmm. but we're also looking forward to the you know group effort of it yeah, yeah. nice